the foot ulcer in diabetes is common because when there is obviously a nerves a vessels in chronic diabetes affects lot where there is a micro capillaries in vascularity whether it's arterial or venous could hamper could block the capillaries leads to reduced nutritional blood supply to the end of the foot like toes and foot where there is a lot of pressure on the tissue of the foot where because of the diabetic neuropathy diabetic vascular problems leads to frequent friction to the tissue of the foot because in diabetic neuropathy the person do not having the sensation on the foot might leads to untowards injury or the friction to the skin or trophic areas where thus leads to uh, ulcer development because of the neuropathy and obviously when the ulcer is developed in the uncontrolled diabetes foot the vascular supply or a nutritional blood supply to that part will be reduced hence it leads to either gangrene or non healing ulcer so the foot ulcers are most important in diabetic because there is a neuropathy that means they are not aware of the sensation neither injury and then there is a damage to the microvascular which the nutritional blood supply is hampered leads to non healing ulcer obviously when there is exposed wound will lead to bacterial infection and then further it causes the more damage to the wound and then might lead to a gangrene where which we need to amputate the gangrene part and the diabetic ulcer in the foot is most important to tackle and take care of it early and better